In the summer of 1969, James and Bobby Wilson dreamed of the possibility of an outdoor drama that would share the history of the Quaker community in Snow Camp, North Carolina. A history that had been passed on for generations. This is the story of the Snow Camp Outdoor Theater and Historical Site. In the summer of 1969, a group of citizens from the Snow Camp community under the leadership of James and Bobby Wilson began to discuss the possibility of an outdoor drama in Snow Camp. The history of the Quaker community had been passed down from generation to generation about the retreat of Lord Cornwallis and his troops after the battle at Guilford Courthouse and their occupation of Snow Camp. While in Snow Camp, Cornwallis and his troops used the meeting house in Snow Camp for a hospital. They buried their dead in the meeting house burial ground, and they pillaged the community resources for their 2,000 plus soldiers. This history was the birth of the Snow Camp Historical Drama Society. The group of citizens, James Wilson and the late Bobby Wilson, met with Mark Sumner, director of the Institute of Outdoor Drama at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. The meeting took place at Ye Old Country Kitchen in Snow Camp, with more than 50 interested citizens in attendance. Mark Sumner told the citizens the challenges and difficulties that lie ahead in order to make the outdoor drama a reality. Mr. Sumner agreed to do a feasibility study, and after the feasibility study, the citizens agreed it was time to secure the properties. After properties were secured, it was at this time that James and Bobby Wilson met with the late governor, Robert Scott, and he agreed to build a state road into the facility. Subsequently, Drama Road. The governor then asked the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers to cut all the timber in the parking lot and amphitheater area. Then demolition experts from the U.S. Army came in and blew all the stumps from the ground. The dream was becoming a reality. During the next few years, a fundraising event happened almost every weekend to raise the funds needed to build the theater campus. During this time, volunteers from the Snow Camp community hand cut out the seating and stage area for the outdoor drama. Businesses and schools worked together to build structures. The years of building the campus coincided with the donations of historical buildings brought to the site. In fact, over 30 historical buildings have been added to the site since 1971. A search was begun in 1971 for a playwright to write an outdoor drama about the Snow Camp history. More than 10 scripts were submitted. The board of directors chose William Hardy, a TV and radio professor at the University of North Carolina, to write the outdoor drama. Upon completion and acceptance of the Sword of Peace script by the board of directors, a statewide contest then was held to find a suitable logo to represent the Sword of Peace. Thousands entered the contest from across the state. The excitement was growing. On July 4th, 1974, the official opening of the Sword of Peace was held with more than 20 dignitaries, including the Governor of North Carolina, James Holzhauser in attendance. In 1994, after two years of research and commitment, the African-American outdoor drama, Pathway to Freedom, written by Mark R. Sumner after his retirement from the Institute of Outdoor Drama, opened at the Snow Camp Outdoor Theater. Pathway to Freedom is the story of Quakers, 
sympathetic Southerners, and other religious groups that helped slaves escape by way of the Underground Railroad to points north. In addition to the Sword of Peace and Pathway to Freedom, each year the theater also presents other quality productions. Some of these have included Shakespeare, children's plays, and award-winning Broadway musicals.